Hey on everyone, I uh, hope you can mind the rain, it's uh, been very rainy lately, but um, anyways, I am very excited to announce that I have a new line of, I don't want to call them videos so much, it, and I don't want to call it a podcast either, this is basically going to be my gaming memoirs, I'm going to talk about all the memories I had growing up ever since I was five years old, um, playing Sega games because you know there's a lot of thing that's ha things that's happened lately and I've been reminiscing about the times that I've been playing Sega games and I keep considering them to be my most joyous memories in my life and there's a lot of great series from Sega that I'm a huge fan of and I want to sort of reconnect and appreciate those series as I once did if you haven't already know, I've kind of had a major disconnect with Sega uh, the last couple of years, ever since the Shining Force incident, where they took down and flagged videos of various Shining Force fans with Shining Force related content because they want to maximize their advertisement for the game Shining Arc. There's a lot of other factors as well, but I'm not going to get into it because that's the whole point of this a series of videos is I want to put that behind me and I want to go back to being the Sega fan that I once was and I also want you guys for the first time to know how big of a Sega fan I am because I don't think I've ever uh, put that across on my channel uh, you probably heard about my love of Sega through various podcasts that I've done but I've never dedicated a video to really talking about uh, all the series that you know I, I love and I, I know more than just love that they are fun to play because I found out in the last couple of years I feel like I'm playing uh, certain games because th they would be fun in some regard but I feel like I'm playing them because I have to for some odd reasons and back, back when I played Sega games I didn't have to play them I played them because they were fun <laughs> and you know that was the golden era where I didn't have to think about things too much because I was a kid and you know that kid's favorite hobbies was playing video games and I think to sort of uh, get back into the mind of my inner child and maybe I can appreciate games more than I already do or trust me I love video games that shouldn't come as a shock to any of you but I think to know what made me the game I am today you know, I need to start from the beginning and I'm looking forward to talking about those wonderful memories I had and sort of develop my tastes in gaming and why I became an RPG fan to begin with. That's the other big thing I want to talk about is this uh, series of videos won't be just pertaining to RPGs. It will be branching out to all genres. You'll be able to hear about my thoughts on uh, you know, series like Sonic the Hedgehog, Golden Axe, Streets of Rage, Virtua Fighter, so many great Sega franchises that are not RPGs, you know. But you'll still hear me go into great depths about games like Fancy Star and Shining Force, oh, Landstalker, <laughs> so, so many wonderful series, you know. You know, I'll be, and get to talk about my latest, uh, I should say, connections to Sega with uh, Valkyrie Chronicles and uh, Ryoga Kotoku, I've always known as Yakuza, so I've got a lot to talk about. How I'm going to go about this is I'm going to do the uh, first couple of episodes which are going to be my memoirs and I'm going to do it based on a system like the first episode is going to be based on the Master System then the following episode is going to be the Mega Drive then the following episode I'm going to talk about sort of like the miscellaneous add-on systems where I'm going to talk about the Mega CD and the 32X Although the Phase 2X is going to be very short since I've only played one game for the system. <laughs> and then I'll probably talk about the Game Gear. And that'll be one episode because I haven't had much experience with any of those three devices. Then I'll have an episode dedicated to the Sega Saturn. Which was going to be a really good episode because I love the Saturn. And then I'm going to talk about uh, the Dreamcast. Which is a very going to be a very small episode because I haven't had much of a... Uh, experience with the Dreamcast as nearly everyone seems to have growing up you know, 
ever since I've gotten into the YouTube gaming community, i just gone into this hornet's nest, or I should say this religion of everyone bowing to the Dreamcast. And I still scratch my head to this day because I still don't get it. Because, you know, I just, I, I, you know, back when the Dreamcast came out, I was more playing the PS1 and the PS2. And I never understood the full appeal of the system. And it also due to the fact that the system was not advertised well in Australia. I'm going to get that out now. Or if not advertised well in Australia, at least in my neck of the woods, it just wasn't really talked about. And I will talk about the errors after the console race, you know, with the, the, you know, the PS2, GameCube, Xbox era, the PS3, 360 and Wii era, the handheld games I've done. I've got so much to cover and I've always wanted to do it. But I feel like I should do it in this memoir format where you just don't get to hear about the games I played, but how I felt at the time I played them. And the reason why, I would say the main reason why I want to do this is I feel like I want to leave something behind if something should happen. And if I am going to, you know, leave leave this planet, I would like to be remembered by the games that I played growing up and how much happiness they brought to my life. And, you know, I... I, I, I couldn't think of anything better than, you know, me playing Sega games. So <laughs> it's pretty much just that. <laughs> so guys, I hope you look forward to it and I will no doubt do the same. I don't know when it will happen though. I think I would love to get a good working microphone so I can uh, do this very clearly. You know, I'm just using my laptop's inbuilt mic and it's doable would be the word I would describe but um, hopefully I can earn uh, you know some more Masetta and get a good working microphone so I can give you the best possible uh, recording audio you know I can't think about that too much either it's all about the memories it's all about the memories just want to say um, I'm really excited for this guys I think this is going to be a lot more personal than my normal videos uh, and hopefully when I get around to it, I'll let everyone know and basically my plans is if this is well received, then I can uh, proceed to do more episodes beyond what was uh, initially anticipated because I was going to end it uh, with the, you know, this current era. But if I can generate more interest, maybe I'll get other Sega fans on and we can do more in-depth discussions talking about a certain series and uh, we can go from there. So um, hopefully looking forward to it, guys. I know I am. And just want to say thank you for listening and take care.